Cincinnati's home to a piece of abolitionist era history, and right now it's getting a massive renovation. Local 12's Kristen Cornett shows us what's going on inside the Harriet Beecher Stowe House. Well, people probably drive by the yellow house on Gilbert Avenue, the Harry Beecher Stowe House, a lot without really knowing more about its historic significance. And some new renovations happening inside are hopefully to going to provide a new kind of perspective on that. And we got the chance to check it out and see it for ourselves. The goal with these renovations is really to combine two historic periods of time in a special way. So the home dates back originally to the 1800s, and that's when it was home to famed author Harriet Beecher Stowe. Stowe, who wrote the book Uncle Tom's Cabin, which is the most important anti-slavery book in history. Later on in the 1930s era, it became a boarding home and tavern, and the home was actually listed in the 1940s edition of the Green Book as a safe place for African Americans to go in Cincinnati before the Civil Rights Movement. Only a couple, one of a couple places listed in the book at that time period. These renovations are going to kind of give people the opportunity to walk through both pieces of history inside of this home. It's a unique venture that's taken years of hard work to get to this point. Really tie together all of these different components using the overarching theme of the power of voice. Harriet Beecher Stowe used her power of voice to help change public opinion about slavery. Mm -hmm. Victor Green, the editor of the Green Book, was not able to change discrimination, but he used his power of voice to help people navigate through their situation. Now, in honor of Black History Month, the tours will be open for people to check out some of these renovations happening inside. And something interesting to think about, you know, restoring this to the 1800s, they don't have any pictures to go off of. So they're having to use kind of forensic looking at different details to kind of figure out what went where. So some really inspiring work happening inside here and you can see it for yourself during this Black History Month. I'll send back to you. Thank you, Kristen. The Stowe House is also doing some special programming this month like online lectures and film discussions. We have links to that information on local12.com. People always think of the Freedom Center for sure. Black History Month and right. slavery issues and things like that, but the Harriet Beecher Stowe House has been around a lot longer. Yeah, well, yeah. and, yeah. and the, the number of places mm -hmm. in this whole area, if you want to learn more about that era of history, there are plenty of places to go. Yeah, yeah. good to know.